Hey, I'm your host here, Tanner Smith, back again with another home improvement project. And this is my guest here, Tyler Johnson. Hey guys. And nobody cares. Uh, so today we'll be building a homemade bird feeder. This is made out of PVC pipe. Uh, this is very beneficial because it's simple, it's fun, and it's a lot cheaper than the ones you'll buy in the store, which range from about $20, $25. So uh, Tyler, what are you gonna need today? All right, first off, you always need safety. That's the number one rule, right? So we got our safety goggles for all your cutting and drilling needs. Um, you've got your drill then and your drill bits and we'll be needing those switching out for different hole sizes. Um, and you've got your PVC caps. Uh, those will be used to seal the top and bottom of the PVC pipe. Um, to put those on, you'll be using a PVC cleaner to make sure that there's no dust in there that'll stick. And then you're using your PVC cement, which will also be used to actually glue it on. Um, this is your PVC pipe, of course. It's a one and a half inch, so make sure your caps will fit that. Um, thank you, Tanner. Uh, you got your tape measure for measuring th stuff out, of course. Um, and then you've got your table saw, which will uh, make sure that you're cutting everything right. You could use a hand saw, uh, but this is much easier and faster. Uh, also, you've got some zip ties, easy hanging. You could use string, but these are uh, pretty cheap. Uh, just sometimes laying around the house. Um, then you've got a straw or a stick or something that you can use to let the birds perch on it. Um, on top of that, you've got your bird seed. You can use any type. We've got a cardinal blend here because that looked good for the birds. So Awesome. So uh, what do you say we get going? Awesome. So to start, we're going to have to make a cut into the PVC. We're going to make this about a foot and a half long. It seems about the right length. Uh, it's about the same as this one we have right here. This is what I made previously. Uh, so we're gonna use the table saw right here and make the cut right here. So now I'm gonna make the cut. Uh, safety first. So now we have our cut piece. What we're gonna to need to do now is take these caps and seal off the top and bottom of the bird feeder. So for this step, I'm gonna pass it over to Tyler. All right, thanks, Tanner. First of all, kids, always use a cap. Okay, for this step, we're gonna be sealing the caps on. So for these caps, we only need to seal one on because for you need the other unsealed so that you can put the bird feed seed in. Um, for this, to glue these on, we're gonna be using Odie clear PVC cement and also the clear cleaner. You can buy these at any store, hardware store, for about six to eight bucks and they are great to use and I love them personally because I use them in all my projects. Okay, so I've got my cleaner and my cement and I'm gonna put on the cap. So to start off I need to put like two or three brushes of, on the inside of the cap with the cleaner. and then two or three around the outside of the PVC pipe. And he's gonna do the same thing with the cement. So while he's doing that, I'll show you some cool features of the finished one that I have. Uh, right here is the perch we used uh, for the birds to feed on. We got the hole here where they're feeding through and there's other holes right here where they can feed through for smaller birds. Um, this is the zip tie I used to hang it up on a branch right back there and uh, of course we have a drilled hole right through here so that you can put that up very simple process so uh, all right so now I've got the cement and the glue all, and the cleaner all in place so now I will cap it and you want to hold it on there for about uh, how, well, how long would you say uh, 10 or 10 15 seconds yeah somewhere around there take. and just make sure it's nice and firm on there and so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't fall off and, lose all the birds you don't want any difficulties yeah, yeah exactly and then so that's probably that's, that should be good that's good and now squeeze it too you can put on the other cap loosely because we need one of them off so that we can put the bird seed in yes yeah. so and uh the reason why we're actually putting on right now before we put in the bird seed is just so we know we have a good distinct line of where we want to put the holes and drill the holes in so yeah and that'll be our next step
Okay, so for our next step, we're going to be drilling some holes into the PVC bird feeder. Uh, it's going to be, the first one is going to be the perch, which is this straw right here that the birds are just going to perch onto, hence the name. Um, the drill bit and the straw are going to be the same length right here. Uh, really nice drill bit, really nice drill if you're looking for one. Uh, Ryobi, it's an 18 volt, got the battery down here, they come separately, drill bits come separately. Really nice package, all in all probably about $150, that's what you're looking at for one of these. Um, you can find it at your local Ace Hardware, Home Depot, pretty simple. So, let's drill some holes, uh, let's, let's rip this thing a new one. Right. And this here is my first mark, drilling in, making an indent. Some pretty thick PVC. We're gonna go through the first part, and then we're gonna go through the same spot through the second side too as well so that we can put the straw all the way through. There we go. Got through the first hole. Alright, now when, you, when you're doing this make sure that you come down straight down with the drill so that you can get to the other side real cleanly and in a straight line. And there we go. Got the first hole. Alright, so now we have, we have our perch. Birds can sit up real nice. Um, now I'm going to drill where the zip ties will go through or, or anything that you're going to use uh, to hang the actual bird feeder from wherever. Um, so I've got my mark about, I don't know, about an inch away from the top of the PVC pipe. Um, and so let's get to some drilling. Alright, so now we're drilling through, making a dent here. And again, make sure that you drill all the way through and straight perpendicular down. So that you make a nice clean and even line. There we go, we made it through the first one. Alright, so now I just broke through the second. Alright, and that's good. Now, to make it a little bit wider, because the twist ties might not fit exactly in there, um, I'm gonna, you can stick it in and you can just kind of twirl it around a little bit. And it'll widen the hole. So that make sure that make sure that fits in. Um, you can also do that with the other side, which I will do. Make sure you only do that one hole at a time. So that's that step. So we have taken the liberty of drilling the big hole where the bird is going to feed off of and also putting on the zip ties for time's sake. Uh, this is what the finished product should look like. Uh, our last step is going to be to insert the bird feed. This is uh, the Cardinal Blend. Love watching Cardinals. Best bird watch in Wisconsin, for sure. So, what we're going to do, just pop the cap off. Tyler, hold that for me. Thank yeah. you. No problem. It's nice and easy. It's gonna pop. Make sure you don't fill it too high so that yeah. you can, uh, it doesn't overflow. And uh, you should be able to refill this weekly. Okay, so the hole is pretty small, but so you could use like a funnel or a uh, or uh, something that will make the hole wider and then go back into it. Um, uh, so that should be about enough. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, it's filled right up about to the zip line right here. Uh, so last step, just need to go hang it up on a tree. And, uh, birds are going to sit on this perch right here, eat out of this hole. They're going to have themselves a good time. So now you got to put on the cap. Just make sure that's tight. No glue or cement because we want to be able to refill this when the birds go at it. So uh, now just put on any branch or anywhere in around your yard that seems to work and that should stay pretty well and there you go that's the end of our tutorial for how to build a homemade bird feeder out of PVC pipe thanks for watching